All right, thank you everybody for joining us today. This is Fuel Point Ministries podcast. And um, today we are going to be having a brief uh, conversation with Pastor Emmanuel Ojo, and it's going to be about practical steps to excellence in ministry. By the way, this is an extension of the YouTube that uh, uh, the live YouTube that we just finished. So if you're listening this to this podcast and you haven't really listened to him on the what on the uh, YouTube, please go to Fuel Point Ministries on YouTube and listen to Pastor Iman and Joe because this is an extension of what we discuss over there. Um, all right, Pastor Joe, thank you, sir, for coming on this podcast today. I'm glad, I'm glad. All right, so we are glad that uh, you are here, uh, but we bless the Lord, of course, for what the Lord has spoken through you on the YouTube version of these. Uh, but this is a place where we, in about five minutes, look at this topic right here. And my question to you is, what are the practical steps to excellence in ministry? I mean, practical, practical. steps to excel in ministry. I'm sorry. In ministry. Uh, the first thing is to give yourself only to the ministry. Mm. And giving yourself only to the ministry is to align the owner of the ministry to have a total control of you. I mean, giving yourself to that ministry is the first thing. Jesus did the same thing. The practical step is first of all giving yourself, irrespective of what is in the environment, give yourself the whole of yourself and nothing. Give the 100% of yourself, not 99.1, the whole of yourself and let it uh, be embedded in what God uh, has empowered you to do because there is grace available for you when you give the all of yourself. The number two practical steps I believe will help people in life and it has been helping me for more than 13 years as a pastor now and uh, is uh, from the book of Colossians 3 verse 23. Whatever your tax is, whatever your tax is, put your whole heart and soul into it as work done for the Lord and not merely for men. Work with enthusiasm. It's, it's a major work. After giving yourself, let, let the interest, you have to do the work with a lot of joy. A lot of joy. Do the work cheerfully. You are doing it unto God. If you are doing it unto God, you will not be waiting for appreciation from man because even when they needed to appreciate you and they don't appreciate you since you were not expecting you will not be discouraged you are expecting to get something from people you need people to applaud you you need somebody to support you financially oh no oh no you'll be discouraged so work with enthusiasm and in your enthusiasm do it as you are doing it unto the Lord. The number three thing is you need to sharpen your knowledge. You do not know all. Take step and meet people that know it better than you do. Take steps to ask questions. You cannot be an island of knowledge. This work is too broad for you to have everything. Sharpen your knowledge. Go to people. Exodus chapter 10 verse 10 says, if the ass is dull and his edge is unsharpened, more strength is needed, but skill will bring sources. If you try to, you know, cut corners, that I will use my strength, I will use my, you, you will exhaust your energy. What, what skill will give you? Strength cannot give you. Skill can give you something within um, five minutes, the strength may take 24 hours to achieve what skill will give you in five minutes. So you need to develop your skill. And in developing your skill, study book, read Christian literature, study the Bible, go to people that were that are ahead of you, ask questions, be open to criticism. That will be the number four. Be open to criticism. You, you, are in, you are in a position where people want to talk you down, 
either because you are doing it better than them, either because they are lazy, either because they feel intimidated about what you are doing, they will talk. Take criticism, cons- uh, constructive criticism. We have both constructive criticism and we have the negative criticism. Take the constructive criticism with the all of your art, work on what people have said, and you know, develop your line into that, fashion your fashion your life according to the scripture. And the other part if is the destructive criticism, hold it with a pinch of salt. If you pay attention to it, it will grow in you, and if it grows in you, it will pull you down in the ministry. So the practical steps, that point, the last point, please take it with the whole of your heart. Handle what people say that can pull you down or discourage you with a pinch of salt. Don't give it a thought. The moment you give it a thought, the devil sets inside of you and it's boomerang into something you don't want to have a ministry. So that will be my four practical steps. Uh, and I, I think I need to add this. You have to have a positive attitude. You have to have a positive attitude to this. Philippians chapter 2, 14 to 15 says, if the boss is angry with you, don't quit. A quit spirit will quit his bad temper. That's mm-hmm. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 4. And that is TLD, version of the Bible. If the boss is angry with you, don't quit. A quiet spirit will quiet his bad temper. Uh, do all things without grumbling or arguing, and you will shine out like a light in a dark world. Philippians chapter 2, 14 to 15. All this uh, uh, comes together, commemorate into you developing a positive attitude. People that often develop positive attitude in what they do, they excel better than others. They are just coming with sluggish behavior, like a desical attitude. They give and take. They don't have any shock as ever to retain what people said at them. They react at every word, react at every action. No, you cannot go far in ministry if you do those things. Thank you very wow. much. Wow. <laughs> very powerful. You cannot go far in ministry if you do those things. So give yourself to the ministry. Grace is available for you. Do the work carefully sharpen your knowledge be open to criticism and have a positive attitude pastor ojo thank you so much for making this possible and for allowing god to bless us and to use you for us today on this platform it's a pleasure all right sir we hope we will get to have you again don't go nowhere stay with us in the studio and to all of our listeners we want you to visit our website www.fillpointministriesinternational.org and if you would like to feel free to send us email info at fillpointministriesinternational.org if you would like to support us go to fillpointministriesinternational.org forward slash donate and your contributions are tax deductible well today we have uh, had this nice conversation with uh, Pastor Emmanuel Ojo talking about practical steps to excel in ministry if you want to excel in ministry you need to follow those five points that he gave all right so until we get to come your way again i remain yours solomon have a wonderful week everyone